Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna talk about the summer collection items from our current summer collection that's still available uh, that I happen to pick up. Uh, so there are four new fragrances, I believe, if I am not mistaken, that we are going to sniff through, talk about the scents, and kind of give first impressions on them, and then show you one of the warmers that is available. I think it's still available. Uh, yes, uh, as well, so that you can think about whether or not you might want to pick it up. So, there are four, whoop, butterfingers, there are four, <laughs> four scents, see this is 100% real, there is no scripting going on here, uh, scents, and they are Fiji Flower, Blue Agave and Melon, Mandarin and Mango Nectar, and Coconut Daiquiri. These are the new scents for this summer, and we're gonna sniff through them together for the first time. We're gonna read the scent descriptions and see how we feel about them. So let's start with Blue Agave and Melon. This one is described as a sweet desert oasis lush with blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. Nice light blue, and here we go. Oh, okay. I definitely get, um, Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so, so on the top of this bar, when I first mulled it, I got a big whiff of like a blue agave sort of vibe. Now, the more I'm smelling this, and especially when you turn over to at least the bottom of the bar, I get a lot more of the melon and kiwi, and very little of the blue agave, which is very interesting. Now, that's that's very typical that sometimes the bottom of the bar, the oils will settle one way versus the top, so that doesn't necessarily mean you won't smell one or the other when warming it. Um, there's a bit of a sweetness to this. In the honeydew, I don't know if I specifically would say that it is like, whoa, honeydew. It's more of like it gives it that watery, like juicy dewiness rather than necessarily being a super melon scent. Um, I feel like you get more of the kiwi, um, like a little bit of a punchiness from the kiwi. And then you get a sweetness from like the agave kind of note in there. I would describe this as a, like almost a fresh scent, uh, more than a fruity scent. And I'm sure this is probably more in the fruity category with these scent notes. Um, there's almost like a clean air sort of, or fresh air vibe to this in addition to the like aquatic kiwi shenanigans happening. I do like it. I'm not sure that I love this scent. Um, I, I was a little bit leery on it when I first picked it up and I was like, eh, we'll try it. So I, I, I would say that it's a solid, I'm, I'm okay with it right now. But I don't know that I would have gone out of my way to like get this in all the different products that it's available in just given yeah yeah it's just it's not it's okay for me it's it's like I, I don't dislike it but I'm not like ooh, gotta put it in my warmers tomorrow um all right so not bad um this particular scent is available in a shave soap hand soap scent circle the bar that we just smelled through uh, scent pods, a Scentsy Soak, and a Sugar Scrub. So options, oh, and, and a Fragrance Flower as well. I feel like this is definitely a very kind of spa sort of base scent. Smell it one more time. Like almost a sweet spa scent in that sense. It reminds me of... I can't put my finger on it, but I kind of feel like it reminds me of another bar that I've warmed before. 
like there's just a note to it that like sticks out. I think it might be the agave in it. I can't place it, but I, 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 I've smelled something similar to this before. <clears throat> All right, anyways, let's move on to another scent. Uh, coconut daiquiri, how about that? This one is described as a tropical blend of coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream that's as refreshing as it is sweet. So coconut milk scents, I love. Vanilla cream, usually don't have any issues with, usually enjoy a lot. Banana, mmm, mmm. All right, so I do get like the creaminess of coconut milk right out the gate, which is really nice. Um, I don't know if I get a huge amount of vanilla on that side though. I do get a banana note in this, but it doesn't bother me. Like b banana scents tend to just, just all annoy me unless it's the actual banana that I'm eating. This one doesn't bother me. And I think it's because the vanilla cream is kind of muting the banana note. <sighs> Cause it is kind of like an artificial banana smell to me. but it's like the vanilla cream is making it a little bit more palatable and the coconut milk just further makes it creamy and blends well. I guess you could say it synergizes well with the banana so that it's not so much banana. It's like a creamy, rich, kind of like a, a, I don't know if, this would, if I would necessarily say that this smells exactly like a coconut daiquiri. Although I don't think I've ever really had a coconut daiquiri specifically. I think I've had like a pina colada. I've had a regular daiquiri. I've had a strawberry daiquiri. I don't think I've had a coconut one. So maybe. It does smell good though. Um, I prefer this one over the blue agave and melon, which is surprising because it has a banana note that you definitely do smell. But I think the other two scents, which I generally like in a uh, fragrance, like a wax bar, um, really do kind of offset the artificial banana quality to it. All right, so this is available in hand soap, no longer in the scent circle, it is out of stock there. The wax bar, sugar scrub, and the Scentsy Soak. <clears throat> I got it, I think, as well in the, I did in the Scentsy Soak because I love using this. Um, even if I'm not having like a full on bath soak, uh, it's great to do like a foot soak at the end of the day if your feet are tired, if you've been walking a lot or like running or anything. It's just, it, it's great for that. So I always have a couple Scentsy Soaks on hand just for the end of the day. If I'm just like my feet are sore, I need to wind down. It's kind of like therapy, right? Okay. Next, let's move on though to our mango, no, not mango. Yes, mango, mandarin and mango nectar. This is our third scent. This one is described as a medley of juicy mandarin, mango nectar, and peach puree. Oh God, it's always peach. Blended into an intoxicatingly fruity fusion. So I'm not a fan of peach. I'll say that right out the gate. Uh, if this is hyper peach, not going to be particularly fond of it. I'm hoping though that the mandarin mango notes are going to kind of be the stronger scent, if you will. Here we go. And I get a lot of, the first thing I hit, I, I get an instant mandarin note, but then it's kind of like over, overshadowed by like mango, mango nectar, if you will, I guess. And peach. I do smell the peach though. Mm. I don't know what it is about Scentsy. Like this, this, this spring has been like the spring of peach based scents. Ooh, now that's good though. 
Oh yeah, okay. So the top of the bar, you actually get more of the peach note when you just smell it out. Which is like, mmm, giving me, what is it? Not, not Mickey and Friends, but maybe it is giving me like Mickey and Friends a little bit vibes on the top. But when you turn it over, you get that, you get that beautiful mango nectar in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like nice and fruity and zi like that zippy sort of sweet, slight tart mango quality. You get like the nice citrus burst of mandarin. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this is great. Uh, if if the, the peach kind of stays hidden underneath the other two scents or blended into it, I will definitely be putting this in my club. Uh, if this ends up becoming like Peach Central featuring guest stars of Mandarin and Mango, then maybe not so much. But based on the bottom part when I was sniffing, do I really like this. Actually, this is, might be my favorite so far now. So, so far, Blue Agave and Melon is in last place, followed by runner-up is Coconut Daiquiri and then Mandarin and Mango Nectar. Now, this one I ended up getting in the counter clean dish soap bundle which is still i believe this one's still available it is okay so this is available in the wax bar scent circle the twin pod or twin oh my gosh scentsy pod twin pack don't know why i can't talk tonight um as well as this counter clean and dish soap bundle so i love our counter clean it works great. I actually use it, fun fact, to clean my dry erase boards. It works like a charm, in addition to cleaning counters and other things. Um, and I really actually enjoy our dish soap, surprisingly, uh, more than I expected to. So, definitely like this bundle. I would recommend that if you, if you like doing cleaning stuff or having a different scent other than like the, the traditional lemon cleaner sort of smells. Maybe try one of our dish soaps or counter cleaners just to kind of switch things up a little bit. All right, moving on, our last scent is Fiji Flower, pink bar here. And this one is a vivid lay delicately crafted with pink plumeria and pear blossom wraps around an air of apple. So we have floral, pear blossom, let's floral again. So double floral and then apple. Here we go. I get floral, I get, I get an aquatic floral. <sighs> kind of reminds me, I think it was last summer's collection, uh, hibiscus water. It gives me that vibe, but not hibiscus. It's plumeria instead of hibiscus. Which I actually prefer because the, the hibiscus water, no, the hibiscus note, I'm just not a huge hibiscus person. It's okay for me. You do get kind of like a apple pear sort of floral note to this but it's definitely an aquatic base floor. It's really dewy, really, you know, like that that feeling like when you get out of the shower, it's like slightly steamy, like dew sort of everywhere on the mirror, condensation on the mirror. It's like kind of that vibe, but floral with a hint of like pear apple. <laughs> yeah, the apple I think is is bringing more of a juiciness rather than a straight up apple scent. You definitely the, the strong player there is the floral note. Um so it kind of makes it a very fresh floral which I'm actually really excited about because I do not really prefer powdery florals in general. So that the, the fresh aquatic floral almost like almost like a flower shop kind of vibe 
not quite as stagnant as that because you have the apple note that's bringing more of a fruity burst. But yeah, it's it's a nice scent. It's a very nice, oh gosh, now I have to rethink about which one is my favorite. Oh man, I have to smell this mandarin again. Hmm. <sighs> Honestly, as silly as it is, this this might be my favorite of the four now. So in order, as I throw the bars all over my room, I think my favorite is Fiji Flower with a close second, if not tied for first with Mandarin and Mango Nectar, then followed by Coconut Daiquiri. I think the, the artificial banana note just kind of throws it a little bit off for me more than I would prefer. Uh, and then Blue Agave and Melon just it's not a bad scent, but it just was not like overwhelmingly, oh my gosh, need it in my life. Now I did pick up the laundry bundle that we have in Fiji Flower, which comes with two of the smaller washer with containers and the laundry liquid. So this should be enough for a full round of the laundry. It didn't come with the uh, dryer discs, but that's okay. Um, I think the, the bigger thing is the laundry liquid and the washer wash itself. Now this scent <clears throat> is available in the laundry bundle, Scent Circle, Scentsy Bar, and Scentsy Pod Twin Packs. <clears throat> All right, with that being said, I also picked up one of the wormers. There were a couple wormers. There was a like a pink cast dupe in with like a palm sort of motif. Just wasn't wasn't feeling the vibe, it wasn't what I was looking for. Uh, we have, there's like a glitter teal mini warmer, but again, I don't usually do mini warmers very often. Um, but, and then there was this mandala warmer, which is an Edison warmer. And it's a mason jar style warmer, which to be fair, I'm not like super gung-ho on like the mason jar vibe, but it had like this oil slick kind of pattern design on it, so. I figured, why not? Let's 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 grab it and see. So, the dish is a glass dish, but it has that sort of like mason jar faux um, sort of finishing on the edges of it. When when you sit it on top, it'll look like a mason jar. <clears throat> All right, let's pull this one out, shall we? <gasps> okay, this is totally worth getting. Hundred percent. I don't care that it's a mason jar. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my word. So uh, for some of you who've been on my channel for a while now, uh, I picked up a couple non scentsy warmers that had kind of like an iridescent, like soap bubble quality to them. Uh, and this definitely plays on that style, but it's more of like an oil slick um, kind of, Aromatic vibe to it and it is stunning oh my goodness I am super excited to see what this is gonna look like more turned on so this uses a 40 watt Edison bulb so we are gonna try it as described with said bulb but um, <clears throat> just for fun I might put in like a colored bulb from our 25 watt collection just to kind of compare so our Edison, our Edison bulbs are bigger because they're a bigger wattage. Um, and you will see the filament through them. It's kind of the antique quality of them. So let me put that bulb in. And then, where is my handy dandy little power plug? I think I'll have to put this over there. Of course I didn't think about doing that before I started the video. Hmm, good job, Johnny. Reach it. Ah. Do, 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 do. Please stand by. There we go. Okay. Where did the dish go? So we have our warmer. We have our bulb inside. We'll put the dish on. And here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that's pretty. <clears throat> that is really pretty. It kind of gives you a little bit of a of a, an antique kind of vintage charm because when the when the light is on, 
the color of the oil slick sort of becomes this sort of almost purpley translucent color. It's really pretty. I definitely love this warmer and I'm so glad that I have it here. Uh, let's turn off with the lights a little bit and see what it looks like with the lights dimmer. Echo, turn off the chandelier. Here we go. So it'll kind of give you a nighttime vibe. Very pretty. You can see the patterning on the outside and the gold sort of uh, coloring, but it's not super, uh, super overwhelming. And I bet you it'll cast some pretty shadows on walls if it's nearby or my face. I don't know what it's looking like. So that's what that looks like. Now, just for fun, while I have the lights off, <clears throat> I'm going to try putting in a couple colored bulbs in this one. Now, as you may be aware, this, this is a 40 watt bulb, like I mentioned earlier. Our colored bulbs currently only come in 25 watt maximum. So be aware that if you were to use one of these colored bulbs in your warmer, you can. Uh, it won't, uh, it's, you, you can use a lower wattage bulb, you just can't go higher then. Um, but it may not melt the wax. So just keep that in mind uh, if you go down in wattage or use like a fancy fun LED bulb uh, you may not get your wax melting, but we're going to take a look for fun anyway, since I have my color bulbs here. So this is purple. Gives it a very, very sort of like, it would just be good if you wanted it as more of a night light rather than maybe warmer. Again, this may not warm the wax to the point where it actually throws properly. So just keep that in mind. But if you want it for aesthetics, you could always use one of our lower wattage bulbs. And let's just, let's go through them all. Why not? Since I have them here. Do, 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 do. Let's do, let's do red next. How about that? I bet this will look kind of cool in red. All right. Here we go. Red bulb. That's pretty cool too. I don't know if I like the red bulb as much as the purple bulb, but it does give it a different vibe. All right. Let's do blue because that one is the next bulb I picked. I hope this is blue and not purple again. I've done that before. Blue, here we go. Oh, that's pretty. It's a softer, um, softer vibe, not quite as, as uh, complimentary as the purple was, but still very pretty. And the clear little part on the top of my bulb is because the color, I've used these poor bulbs so much that the color is starting to wear off. Um, I think it could be also that it's possible that if, if any wax drips onto the bulb, the colored coating could uh, wear out. <clears throat> but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. More, more field research is necessary. All right, let's do the green. And then I think I have an orange one here as well, just in case. Oh, that's cool. That's a very cool, different sort of vibe. Kind of reminds me of like, if you got our, our happy henna warmer, it's, it's similar in that sort of concept. I still think with this particular warmer, the, the Edison bulb looks the best because it's, it's kind of designed to have the filament bulb showing through better, but, um, you certainly, certainly could use any one of these other bulbs if you just wanted to decorate. All right, and the last one we have here is orange. So let me throw this in real quick and then I'll put the Edison back in because that's the one that belongs here. This is with the orange bulb. Oh, see, now that's really cool because the, the mason jar coloration part is gold and then the um, patterns that are like painted on or glazed on 
are also in gold, so this orange color really gives it a really pretty vibe. So I would say that if I were to use this for maybe not warming wax and just more of a, of a light uh, decoration, I would maybe uh, go with orange or purple. I think the other three bulbs would work, but I think orange or purple really complement the color palette of this particular warmer. All right, so one last time, I'll put the Edison bulb back in there. <clears throat> And here we go. Yeah, see? It's just that filament in there alone in the bulb gives it an extra, an extra touch that the other bulbs don't. And it'll warm your wax with this particular bulb properly. So <laughs> just keep that in mind too. I also will say that uh, with this particular warmer, uh, the, the glass in this one is quite nice and thick. Some of our, um, glass warmers feel a little bit like they have a thinner sort of glass wall. This one feels pretty sturdy and solid, so that's definitely a bonus, especially with glass warmers. So, anyways, Echo, turn on the chandelier. And as I was saying earlier, very beautiful. You can see again the color sort of oil slick finish uh, better when the lights are on. <clears throat> but overall beautiful warmer, glad I picked this one up. I'm actually surprised it's still available to be quite honest with you because I thought it was gonna be like one of those ones that would just whoop and disappear. But apparently it was not. So, <clears throat> grab one while you still can if you think that you might enjoy this one and hopefully this was a fun little video there <laughs> all right so we covered some of the stuff in the summer collection it is all mostly i will say still available the last time i checked so that is both surprising and also pretty awesome so hopefully this helped hopefully you enjoyed it uh, gave you some inspiration and if it did please hit the thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing and I will see you in our next video. Take care guys. Bye